happened in the first place. Yeah, I'm... It's kind of probably the worst situation to be in. People around you who you could hurt to save a nebulous amount of people, but... I mean, I if, it was so, if it was so easy, there wouldn't be heroes. Exactly. I don't think I'm being some heroic figure, but... There's too many people out there who want to live their lives to just let it end. How could you just yeah. let that happen? Yeah, they're just stealing the lives of the children, you know, if everything just ends now. Yeah, it's selfish, and it's something I might have done a long time ago. Mm. Yeah, you probably would have. Yeah. But, 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 you don't have to worry about that anymore. You've got clear roads. Well, not clear roads. Clear no, skies. It's, it's not a clear road. That's the point. It's rough and weird uh, and hard, but I'm still going. And yeah. they'd still be going. Yeah. It's just not right to step on others like that. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the rest of the peace marks? You can't do anything? Yeah. I mean, they can say it's bad for us to steal people's dreams, but they're stealing everyone else's dreams to do theirs. No one's right in this situation, but one of them ends with the world ending. Mm. Yeah. I mean, just because it's going to be a next time, there'll just be more heroes. It's a cycle. Yeah. It's like a mandala cycle. Well, every age needs to have its inspirational figures, people who actually want to keep it going, I guess. Oh god, I'm sounding really high and mighty. I didn't mean to, but you know what I mean. We're not going to be the only people in this world who say, hey, I'd like to keep breathing. Mm, I'm sure there's plenty of people who feel that way. They just don't have the power to do anything about it. Right. Which is why we or, need to... if they do have the power, they entrusted it to a champion. That's kind of what I am. I'm a champion of your thoughts. I guess you are, right? Yeah. Your story was all about you becoming, like, a champion hero thing, right? Uh, you know, I was a bit like you, a bit selfish. I did whatever I wanted to do. And then this, uh, then my friend, uh, I think it's the brother. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, no, Wukong, you got to be, you, you got to do what's uh, good for the people, not just what's good for your own entertainment. And uh, I became a hero. Uh, is that why uh, you were, is that why you thought I was a good fit? Mm, yeah, you know, like zero to hero. It's a good story. Yeah, that same guy even said that you were a zero. That's why he chose you. <laughs> yeah. He's really cavalier about that sometimes. But he doesn't mean any harm by it. Yeah, I think he's the epitome of a zero. Holy moly. Mm. We're going to figure out how to help him, too, for all of this. But anyway, right. Getting stuff done. Well, I'll give... Just maybe some time. Oh, oh, oh. I just got something for you. Yeah? Why don't, for the ghost, why don't we hire an exorcist? Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, yeah. I'd like to at least talk with them, but if you think they're just going to attack me, that'd probably be a bad sign. Uh, you know what they say about ghosts, right? Uh, I've heard a lot of things about ghosts. What have you heard? The point is that they're here because they're unsatisfied before they go off into the afterlife. Right, right. Or because they're stuck here. Right. All right. So if you've got any Ghostbusters, you know, mm. or maybe you can hire a Ghostbuster. I guess. Yeah, I'll have to shop around. Yeah, you could ask Jeffrey. Yeah, or maybe Clag knows someone. Or, mm -hmm. you know, those hawkers. Right, right. 
I'll definitely have to think about how I'm tackling this then. I don't yeah. want to go about it wrong. Yeah, you gotta you gotta come up with a plan and then execute it. Oh. Right. Thanks. That's what your mind eyes there for. <sighs> Thanks for that. This feels a lot better than just running over and hitting things. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, All sometimes right. that's good as well. Oh, well, yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, eventually, you're going to have to ask her to stop shooting into the sky. It's not doing anything. She's enjoying herself. She's going through the time of figuring out what her life means. Give her some... I'll get some of the stuff. We'll plant some things, and she'll wean herself out of that. Mm. She just had her whole existence brought into question. I'm being a bit... I want to ease her into that. You know? Right. I don't know how demons deal with existential crises. Probably terribly. I don't want her to just disappear. Right. You're just kind of shrug. Right. Well, let's go make the rest of the rounds and then get to that. Oh, She'll check how the monkeys are doing, how Sanzo's doing. They're monkeying around. She gives them a thumbs up. Uh, so I totally did, by the way, in case it wasn't clear when I said it before, I totally did demonicize that one banana tree. I wasn't joking. Oh, you did? Yeah, totally. I want a demonic banana tree in my domain. What kind of demonizing? Oh, wait, did you have one already in the domain, or do you need to... Did you buy I imagine one? we'd have a banana tree. I I guess there would be one banana tree, but you have to ask the monkeys if they wanted the monica size. All these monkeys. Well, Wu was pretty into it. All right. I guess when she stops by, she'd be like, "Hey, do you guys want this to become a demonic banana tree?" Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to ask. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. Exactly, yeah. So let's flick it into the So where's end. this tree, by the way? I'm assuming it'll be at the end of the garden. Yeah, definitely. It, it it has to be in, like, one of the most original places in this domain. I can't imagine the monkeys would live without a banana tree. So, yeah, well, they're by the garden area. Uh, let's say the banana tree is in the middle of the lake, because, you know, it's a banana fucking tree. Poetic. I like it. <laughs> it's the heart of this domain, truly. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm gonna demonicize it. Gonna get everyone. Everyone's gonna be fucking pumped. All right. All right. So the options are based off the demon types. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what kind of bananas do you guys want? You'll hear several different answers. <laughs> Can y'all at least vote on one? Alright. And uh, Wukong will be like... Uh, these kinds of... These guys are kind of like uh, goblins. If you tell them to adopt a system, that will become permanent. Oh, alright. Well, you'll probably be enjoying this. So what do you want, Will? Yeah. Basically my Christmas gift to you. At least you should pick one. I want to see what you choose. All right. Now the demon types. So unless you have governmental sounds... monkeys, they won't vote. All right. Damn, governmental monkeys sounds funny, though. But no. Uh, you know, obviously a beast tree sounds horrible. But a magical <laughs> banana tree sounds pretty lit, dude. All I'm saying. You don't want a mechanical one? <laughs> it just you don't want an altered human? It just becomes a vending machine. <laughs> oh god, it's like the fucking Gantz. Oh. Yeah, uh. You know, imagine the mechanical one, it just turned into a banana vending machine. <laughs> Gantz would just be a guy in a banana costume who hands out bananas. It wouldn't be gross. It'd just be a banana man who hands out banana. Okay, that'd be pretty bad. It's just a guy who hands out bananas. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys would eat. That'd be horrifying. Yeah, magic sounds really good. Magical bananas, because then they're magically good. Magically delicious. Like, magic are basically like 
like they're not like de- they're not like devils and angels, but they're like magical beings. They're like fairies and shit. Yeah, a magical fairy banana banana tree sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, banana fairies, DK sixty four. DK Donkey Donkey Kong is here. And his banana. Oh god. Banana <laughs> slammer. <laughs> Yeah. Lanky, and he's really cool. <laughs> so uh-huh. you got bananas that pull pranks on people. I imagine the bananas don't come alive. They become a demonic fruit that's magical. Yeah, you and eat them just... and a prank happens to you. No, <laughs> not every magic has to be a They become a fruit prank. that become... They become a fruit that may become a woman. Oh my god. Why is every time we gotta make a magic a thing, it has to be something that it's awful? Never mind, this might be a terrible idea. Where are my other options again? I always forget the last, like, uh, one or two. Fallen and Divine. Yeah, Fallen Divine. Is that just the only ones I hadn't considered? Okay, good. Yeah. You got the other four. It's Elemental. Oh, oh yeah, um, Elemental. Elemental sounds like I get screwed over. I'm trying to figure out what brand just won't fuck me with. This. Make them fire bananas. <laughs> They'll be spicy. <laughs> This is what you conditioned me for, Jess. I make oh. a decision not on what I want, but the one I know won't fuck me. What? I don't know. Make them boofoo bananas. Fill me ice cream. Shake. Man, ice yeah. cream. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Done. All right. You make, ice uh, that turn into you, make a, you make a crystallized ice banana tree, and it will be ice banana ice cream. Oh, it's so good. And banana cream. You know, the banana slushies. Yeah, do they look pumped? Yes. Sick. Happy birthday, Will. You love your banana ice cream, so I got you a banana ice cream (laughs) treat. Don't say I'm not the best mythopoetic owner ever. Anyway, let's move on to... uh, How's Sansa doing? He running around, he enjoying himself? Yes, Sanjo is pallidly watching while chewing. Good. I'm here to give them a thumbs up, and uh, she'll go chat. With, she'll go up to Clag now. Now that she's checked in on everyone. And this is what I'm gonna have to change the music because Clag doesn't have. Clag doesn't have this music. No, no, no. Time for Rocky Sky Garden. He never actually took up that invitation to come into the domain. Rude. Yeah. Could have shown up today. I have. You have. Yeah, I have plans today. Move him to the Joker domain. Yeah, That's a great idea. Guy. Go play with Guy Fox or whatever. How hey. about. No. Let's <laughs> move him to the Umberhold domain. There's yeah, no... exactly. Oh, it. yeah, plenty of space to run around there. I have space for three demons in my room. Okay. Not not enough for a horse. No, not enough for a horse. Anyway, Akira will make her way up to Clag and do the, like, cross-legged slit in front of him. Hey, Clag. He'll be... He'll kind of nod, and he'll be like, uh, greetings. I see that you've made a new pact. Without my aid, I'm impressed. <sighs> Yeah, the charms I found a while ago helped. Yeah, bears on the way, so we'll have a little cub running around one day. Mm, yes, an astral bear. I've heard tales of Madgemin. Madgemin? Yeah. Is he a big deal? He seemed really cool and wise. Mm, yes, he makes his home in the night sky. A constellation. Whoa! That's awesome! Mm. He's out of that. He rules among Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Whoa! Oh man, I hope I wasn't disrespectful to him. Mm. He expects everybody around him to... to... Mm, to have some flaws. Oh, good. I tried to be polite. And the ceremony went well. 
I managed to keep myself less rolling around. Mm, I see. So you've managed to control your 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 motor skills. For now, I think so. Yeah, it's mm, I'm figuring it out more. Right, right. Tell me, have you actually transformed you? No, she shakes her head. No, I spoke to my father a bit about it. Um, did her dad actually give her the advice, like, on how to do it, like he said, like, off screen? If I said I, I did the, it, yeah. Well, at the time, I, she said, okay, can you help me? He's like, yeah, but we have to eat dinner first. And I didn't know if I, that meant I would say, like, he'd give some really obscure tips. Okay, cool, yeah. I got some advice from my father, but beyond that, I wanted to consult you before I jump into something, in case I don't have a clear idea on what it would be. I don't want to mess this up in some way that he'll could just, hurt anyone. He'll just kind of nod, and he'll be like, you are a millicent. Mm. I, yeah, right. Uh, Conquerors of the world, of the, of the known world. Imagine talked about that a bit. The reason why you have a link with uh, with the animal kingdom is because they were seen as king. The Millicent War? Mm. Yes. So at one point they ruled over everything. Mm. Everything that they came across. Yes. Right. So that does not necessarily mean everywhere. Right, of course. I see. Jeez, that's a legacy. Hmm, that is why you have such strong genealogy. You cannot reproduce with yourselves, but those which you do in, you take, you take what's good of them and you mix it within your own and you create a hybrid. Hmm. I see. That makes sense, then. Mm. Mm. The Fae that you were with before, I told you that he is a Tua fan. Mm. Right. They were... Mm. Yes. You both originate from the homeland that is known as Ireland. But two of entirely different races. Okay. Gotcha. So he's not my king or something? No. Our people defeated his. But they were craftsmen. They were magical. They were gods. Wow. That's a hell of a showdown then. Hmm. Quite. But they moved underground with their fairy king, mm. and we prospered above ground, and we made our peace. So, yeah. there are those who decided to to move elsewhere, just to, to go away from the homeland, to discover new worlds and plains, and to make a rock. And that's eventually how... And that's eventually how I happened. Mm. Uh, yes. Long time after that. Right. <sighs> People, they stay home for a while, but they feel the itch. And so the search for a new homeland continues. And that itch will never fully be scratched until all of those who descend from the Millicent do what they have the inclination to do. I see. I think I've felt that before. Yes, our our dominion over the beasts is what gives us victory. Right. So I should be able to change. Yes, yeah. right. that is the, that is how your your Japanese blood has influenced you. Mm. 
that is how your millis your millisand connection to the animals has been influenced how it has uh, controlled it and made it its own all right you will never be an oni no uh -huh. but you will be everything else under the sun i see She's only like, kind of just frowns for a second and shakes head. Right. Okay. Should I have an idea where I should start with this? Hmm. Have you asked your partners? Not yet. Uh, and she'll fish around in her jack in her coat. Linda? Oh, you remember I exist again? Of course I remember you exist. I snuggled you in here. Hmm. Not even so much as a good morning, Glinda. Oh, I said that. You were just lazily asleep. Come on. I didn't want to wake you up. You were so cute looking. <laughs> it's about saving the best for last. And she'll help place her out. Well, well. I see that you've finally gotten around to doing this. Mm. She'll, uh, uh, she'll absentmindedly scratch her under the chin. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you feel about this? Well, you do empower me with uh, your abilities, though you have no faint idea on how to control them. But I must wean you as I would a kitten. Oh, thanks, Glenda. If you'd be willing, I'd like to try it. Mm. Mm. You'll become a manifestation of myself. I will give my form to you, and we will share the same mind and body. We'll be melded together. There will be no other connection like this, you know. Wow. Thanks, Glinda. I feel lucky that you trust me like that. Oh. Hmm. Well, out of the candidates that have presented themselves to me so far, you are the one with the most potential, even though you're, you're rougher than a diamond. Kira smiles. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Linda. Hmm. But we, we simply need to think about one another and have our thoughts come together in union. Right. Okay. Let's try it then. It is, this is Akira's first time. You can roll Blue. it for this one. All right. Let's spend that, my understanding. Sick. You spend your popper? Yeah, I'll spend my last popper. Alright. Yeah! Those All are the right. rolls I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> so, Both uh, ends of the spectrum. Now that's a good popper spend right there. So as Akira, as Akira closes her eyes, it will come a naturally true. She doesn't think about it, she just does it. Because, you know, nice. Wukong's like, just do it in just terms of the cards and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So nat here's natural inclination is to literally just go ahead and do something. You know? Yeah. You know, like Lee Chariot. Yeah. And then, it's how uh, she's lived her entire life. You won't feel yourself change because you rolled too well. But after a while, you, you see the... You'll see the world in a different perspective. I don't know what colors Cat sees in officially. Officially. Legally. Legal. <laughs> what cats seeing? Yeah. Cats have a hard time seeing shades of red and yellow, but they have excellent. <laughs> yes. But they have excellent. Uh, well, they have excellent night vision, which means they see blues, purples, and greens really well. Good. So it's a bit different, basically, but nothing crazy. Yeah. I guess Akira would appear as a ginger cat since her favorite color is red. Yes. Akira looks around for a second, not really realizing it happened. She kind of she moves. She clags feet. Yeah, she blinks, she moves, and she feels weird, and she looks down at her hand. She its poor pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> she just Touch them. 
she touches him with the other paw and falls over because she has no supporting front legs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a cat. We're a cat, Glinda. Yes, yes, it's, it's all quite well. Uh, is this what it's like for you? Oh my god, it's so warm. Ah, oh. she just rolls on her side and looks at the clock. Clock, I did it! <laughs> just meowing like a retard. Shit, does Clag understand us? Wait, no, he understood you. Clag! Of course I understand you. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm just... Wow. You're a big dog. Woof. Hmm. Oh. Wow, okay, don't do that, please. <laughs> He'll just kind of chuckle and the bells will ring softly. Kira stretches her body, the strange Glinda body up. Wow. This is fucking incredible. Mm. I would suggest that you keep that form for the rest of the day so you gain a use to how your body moves, how your mind thinks, and you and you connect more of your partner. Alright. As long as you're okay, Pick Glinda. Mm, yes, it's time you walked in my shoes. Lovely. Mm. Now give me the lowdown on where I should head. We gotta hit up all the cool cat spots. Mm. It'll be like uh, making use of your typical environment will be good, whether that be at your family home or within the academy city. Mm. Where would you prefer to go? Home might be pretty busy, so maybe figure out walking around the city first before we have to go. Greet everyone? Mm -mm. Yes, the sate is quite marvellous. No other city like it. Lovely. Let's go, then. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll see you later, Clay. Now, there is one thing I should tell you, that you won't have any royalty if I'm in your head. You'll be like a street cat, a commoner. Oh, well, I'm used to being a commoner, but I'm sorry to have to lower you. Mm. And I can always separate myself from you if you need a companion. That is, uh, that is my unique ability, given oh, that our form is so efficient. Glinda, that's so cool! You can be cat pals! Oh, you're amazing, Glinda. No, you are my retainer. Right. Cat retainers. Do you want Glinda to come out? Yeah. Yeah. I want to go on the roll. She'll just come out and then she'll start trotting off. All right. Kira follows along. Before. I've seen that a lot. It's nothing new. She's a cat. Alright. Kira trots ahead. Her cat trots aside, though. Alright, so do you want to use any of the SFXs? Absolutely. Let's head to the city. All these sensitive whiskers. Just see how they feel. Oh, that's just for danger, isn't it? Damn it. Well, no, I'll just say using it for intuition. Just once they step out into the city. I only go to your SFX page, so I have an idea. Yeah. It's using the danger sensitivity attribute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'll roll for how the city's doing. Alright. Mm. Nice! It's a good day to be All a right. cat. It's a good fucking day. There's a lot going on, which is good if you want to find out about things. Exactly, and perfect. Everything the, sees and luckily crystal I, clean. And luckily I'm cat of the canal right now, so I can. So let's uh, go do that. Alright, so Kira will just uh, start testing out how a pounce is like. Because I just passively get to climb shit. Yeah. And sense so around. So, uh, I guess you can roll climbing roll. You All can right. use acrobatic maneuvers. All right, I will. And I'll use my balance attribute. Yes. And uh, keen distinction. I'm a buddy with Glinda. 2d8. Well, that's okay for my first thing. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I'll have you to jump. open a cat bento soon. <laughs> Yes, you jump around and you balance across walls. And, uh, you get you get the urge to check a trash can. I do. Kira does immediately. 
Linda just kind of sighs. Oh! <laughs> Look, it was instinct, okay? I'm getting used to this. Linda, this is amazing. Oh, man, mm. I always wondered what it would be like to be a cat. It's as great as it sounds. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it is quite wonderful. Oh. I'm Steve. She kind of sniffs around. I'm gonna... Where would we get something to eat? Uh, I get it from you. That's a good point. We're gonna have to be resourceful then. Ooh, how about Lucky Cat Sushi? <gasps> I wanna go see the Lucky Cat. This might be my chance. Come on. Mm. She just starts running off. Wait, did you do realize that's the domain of the Lucky Cat King? She'll, she'll skid to a halt and fucking like fall over. The domain of the Lucky Cat King. He's a mm. king! He's the king of that place. You didn't notice. No. Well, no, I totally did now that you mention it. That makes more sense. I just didn't know he had a cool title. And cats are welcome at the place, but uh, you have to get his permission in order to get the affection of the humans. He is quite a uh, magnet for it. I noticed. Ah. Okay, maybe I won't touch his paw today, but I might be able to get some insider knowledge. Alright. Knee <laughs> head over then. I will right. be my best to be polite. There is the a game. cat before at Lucky Cat Sushi. Fantastic. She'll uh, approach and say, and look to Glinda and go, Do we do we have to do we have to find him before we go in? Mm, that would be adequate, but he's usually in the same place as always. Alright, she'll look Perhaps for Perhaps there might be a lackey. Oh, she'll look around. <laughs> <laughs> should I get a roll or something? Or? Yeah. All right. This would be my hearing roll, I guess. Okay. By the just... way, uh, yeah? sensitive whiskers would be in play for this. Oh, okay. I'll use sensitive whiskers instead. Is this complicated or is it... Whenever close to a great source of power or something a lot stronger than you, your danger sensitivity will roll for you until it's success. When using tactics that don't involve confronting your opponent head on, D8 danger sensitivity we bumps up to a D12. Yeah. So Akira is keenly aware that the lucky cat king is very powerful. Oh my as god. A cat. <laughs> as a cat. As a cat, of course. Okay. So I'll have that D12 then. Uh, do you want a complicated roll for this or just simple? Uh, just simple. All right, so D12 then. Yes. <laughs> All right. You'll kind of see like there's a, there's a there's a there's a cat looking at you from a distance. <coughs> he seems a bit malnourished. Oh no! It's a, it's a tabby cat. Is it a male or female? Uh, it's a male. Excuse me, sir. <sighs> What do you want, kid? You're trying to get into the territory, ha ha ha. You know that food's not really, it's not going to go very far, is it? We, we got to feed, you know. You, you, you seem like a new kid on the block. You haven't even made your rounds, kid. Uh, yeah, we're looking to get in access. Oh, you think you can just get access just from walking through that little door? Just taking little paws and walking through? It doesn't well, no, work like that. Well, now I'm here to talk to you to see if I can get in. Oh, so stop, oh, you want to know me? You want to know me, huh? Yes. Oh, my name is, I've got to look at a Japanese name on the internet, dude. What have I, I done? Gonna... Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm Crap Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I start seaweed. <laughs> Alright. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Kiyosuke. Hi, Kiyosuke. <laughs> yeah. Is this, I'm yeah. Akira and this is Lady Glinda. Just call me Kia. Okay, Kyo, I'm Akira and this is Lady Glinda. Mm. Hey, Princess Glinda. of the Cat Kingdom. Ah, oh, what you doing hanging around with a noble? Why do you want to go around these parts? I'm a retainer. Ah, ah, makes sense, uh, for a pudgy little ginger like you are. Thanks. I thought 
think I've ever had a cat head on. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's winter right now, but breeding season has come real close, you know. Oh, if you want Thank you. Yeah, much. I'll cons- Yeah, Kyo, uh, I mean, Yeah, you know, I'll keep in consideration. Uh, can my lady and me get inside? Mm, can you, can you? Well, the lady certainly can, but uh, you, uh, you might want to wait outside. You wouldn't want to aggravate the king. Of course not. Well, Glenda, you can head on in then, of course, my lady. <laughs>